Welcome to the channel. I'm going to share with you five ways that we have been able to tackle the battle of writing. Stick around. Welcome to the channel. My name is Morgan here at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I hope that while you're here, you find everything that you need, love, and enjoy. Don't forget, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you do not miss any of the videos uploaded. If you've been with me before, welcome back. Woo! Writing. <laughs> Anybody else struggle or have a child who struggles with writing? I do. I do. I have. I have recognized this over the past couple of years and we have worked at it. This year, we have had a major, major breakthrough. And I know that part of this comes with age and growth and development. However, we see certain things in our children and we recognize and we know their capabilities. And do we wanna push that? Absolutely, we're like, go for it. I know you can do this, let's just get it done. I have one child who writes. She has written several stories that are five, six, seven pages long. I have another child who does not. Simply put, does not want to write, does not care to do it. However, will tell you what they would like to write, but does not want to write it. Here we go. This journey has been a struggle for myself as well as for my child. And I was like, we have to. Writing is a major. It's a really big deal. Not just the physical act of writing, but being able to take what is here and put it on paper and make it make sense to you or anyone who is going to read it. I will link down below where I did a flip through and talked about our writing strands curriculum, but writing is a very big deal to me. I recall having to write several essays even to get into nursing school. Once I was in nursing school, in undergrad as a biology major, being a nurse, I had to write essays. We have to write. There is no way around it. It is going to happen. So we need to prepare ourselves and we have to prepare our children. I am on this journey to prepare my children for writing. And as I said, I have one child who does it great. I have another child who is not. However, we made a breakthrough or we had a breakthrough <laughs> this year and it is going so much better than what it has in the past. So I'm going to share with you the five steps that I have taken in our household to make the process of writing go a lot more smoothly. Number one, journaling. We have been doing journaling. I will have my daughter open up her journal and I did find journals that have, um, I would say leads to them that it may ask a certain question or something like that. But majority of the pages are, are blank pages. They, we also have just writing journals that people have given us. I have her journal. It started out one or two sentences, simple things, three or four sentences, whatever it may be, just as long as she got a chance to put what she was feeling or what she was thinking down on paper. Now, this is done without correction. I don't check spelling. I don't correct grammar, none of that. No punctuation, nothing. We are simply taking what you feel, what you think, and putting it on paper with no criticism, constructive or otherwise. It is just an opportunity for her to put her thoughts down on paper, however she is feeling, and not feel as though it has to be done perfectly. Sometimes I do give her a specific topic to write on. It, it's still related to something that we may have done. How did it make you feel when your sister gave you a hug? How did it make you feel when you had to rush to go wherever? Whatever it may be, those are the type of things. Now I usually do that maybe once or twice a week and she writes in her journal about three or four times a week. So half and half on that. The second thing that we do to help with writing struggles are book reviews or, um, yes, I will call them book reviews, <laughs> not necessarily reports. But in these book reviews, she is able to tell me what the book is about, how certain things made her feel, but this is done verbally. She does not have to write these things down very often. 
It's just simply sit down and tell me what happened in this book. And I am finding books that she's really enjoying, so it makes it a whole lot easier. We just sit across the table from each other, she has the whole room's attention, and she's telling us about these books. The good, the bad, the characters, what it described that they had on, their personalities, all of these things. She is being very descriptive, and I do prompt with questions if I feel the need, but a majority of the time, she can just rattle off what happened in this book and she's excited about it because it is a book that she does enjoy. This helps with verbal communication. There are times where she does not communicate with us in the home because she feels as though her words don't come out the way that she intends for them to. So it has created a barrier and I am trying to break that barrier down and let her know that we are always here. I specifically am always here to listen to her and not criticize and not judge and that she doesn't have to come to us perfectly with her words or her actions. So even in this writing, overcoming these writing struggles, it's not just about writing. It's about her being free to openly speak and communicate with us without feeling like she's gonna be judged or that her words are going to be taken out of context. There are times where I do correct her if she uses a word out of context. However, I let her finish what she's talking about. I keep a mental note of where the corrections and I say, hey, let's look up this word and see how we use it. Or let's work on, on this, grab a piece of paper and let's do this. And it gives us an additional opportunity to write more things down. Hence, we're working on writing. It's working. Number three is very similar to number two, but it's open conversation. So we are not talking about a book. We're not talking about journal prompts. We're simply having more open conversations. Prompting from me about whatever. Tell me what is it that you wanna do for your birthday? Her birthday may be six months from now, but it starts her to thinking. It gets her, her in a, a deep, conversation type mood and she is very deep and I believe that that is the reason why she holds back on some of the things that she says because she feels like the the topics are so deep that she doesn't necessarily know where she's going with it she just knows that she has this really deep thought in her head how can she get it out and what is it going to turn into she doesn't know so I am here for that I love the deep thought I love the 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 questioning that she has with a lot of the things that she learns she is a big science person she loves to read about the solar system the earth and everything in it and how things are formed and oceans and ecosystems this is her area so she comes to me with a lot of those types of questions and i hop on it not only are we learning about the world around us but also it's giving me an opportunity to really talk to her and see where her mind is. This helps a lot with writing because if she can articulate to me what's going on in her head and what she wants to say, it makes it 10 times easier when she has to put that down on paper. Number four, I have talked about it. We love it, we are still using it, but Writing Strands by Masterbooks. Writing Strands by Masterbooks has really helped us to jump into more of the actual physical writing. We have books that the girls are reading that go along with writing strands. We also have Bible um, stories that we're using in writing strands. It started out what I felt like was really slow. We are doing beginning level one. And as I said before, I will link the video down below where I did a flip through of it, but we're doing beginning level one. And I thought to myself, this is nowhere near what we need to be doing. And it just took us up this slow incline. And now the girls are writing reports, two paragraph reports. My child, the one who struggled with writing, is writing a paragraph and a half, and it's nowhere near as bad. We had tears at times, guys, from writing. It was a struggle. Now it's a lot better. She and I simply discuss what we're talking about, what the paragraph needs to be, and she puts it down on paper. We do rough drafts, we do a corrections, we do a final draft, it's going so much better. Writing strands has really added to her ability to be able to write, do it in correct format, use the correct parts of speech. 
it's more of the formal aspect of writing where the previous three things that we do are just more relaxation type of writing, but it all comes together to form an amazing picture of what I know her writing capabilities will be. And the last thing, number five, is master books, language lessons for living education. She is doing amazing. We've used master books for two years now, and when you get to this certain level, which is level three, the writing becomes more. There's more writing in it where you are having to look at the parts of a paragraph and put things in order um, and make it make sense. So all around every day for language arts, she's getting writing in some lesson. Every single lesson, there is a writing component to it. Um, there is also um, picture interpretation, which also helps with writing. Um, there are so many aspects of the master books language lessons that are helping as well. And we are really overcoming the writing struggles. Is it perfect? No, but we are so much further ahead than where we were before. I'm just so thankful. And we continue these things. We will continue these things. And I don't know if she'll be a, an amazing writer one day. I just want her to know that her feelings and thoughts can be put on paper. It can make sense and be received by other people and that it can be a fun thing to do as well. To be able to just put your thoughts on paper is a really good thing to be able to do. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments. Do you have a child who's resistant to writing? And if so, what steps are you taking to make it better? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you right back here at the Life of Tillman's for another video next time. Bye.